Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Hey folks, well that's my water boiled on the KVS Spider Stove there, the cheap gas, great view on the southwest coast path, not far from Linton and Lynmouth. Okay folks, well I'm about to have an all day breakfast um, by Beyond the Beaten Tracks. I've had one of these before, I do know they're nice, but I'm going to show you what it looks like inside the packing. Uh, this is the outside of the packing, you can pause it if you want to read it. Um, there will be a link in the description where you can buy these. And so this is the inside of the packing. I'll be on the beaten tracks all day breakfast. I'll open it up to show you inside. This is the inside of it. You can eat it warm or cold. Um, I'm going to eat it cold. Um, just because I'm not camping by a stream and I like to boil them in the bag so I don't get the pan dirty. So I'm going to eat it cold because there's no, I'm not by a stream. Okay folks, well I'm about to get the tent down and get on my way to he start heading along the coast path to um, Lin 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 Lynmouth, which will be my next uh, stop to refuel. Okay folks, well I'm ready to go now, got the tent down, picked everything up and um, all set to go. folks so I just used the church's electricity to charge a few things I'm going to give them a donation of um, a quid 250 p's and I think this is the money box here let's put that in there there we go and I'll be on my way just before I go um, just show you around the church quickly 
actually. It's quite nice. It's a Norman church apparently. It's quite old. And it looks like a, an old, maybe some remains of a previous church. It's quite old. I don't know what the story is behind it. So folks, they got um, escape, no gear now, escape lanes ahead. So that is an escape lane if your, your um, vehicle goes out of control, I guess. So it says here, uh, path ahead to Silly Sands is now closed and totally impossible due to tidal damage to the steps. Southwest coast path fully open as usual. Don't know what this is. Another escape lane coming up. The path, the road is so steep. I've seen a lot, I have actually seen steeper roads than this in the Lake District and other places. But I've never seen escape lanes like this where Exmoor meets the sea. Well, here we are in Linton, Linton or Limbeth. One of One's at the top and one's at the bottom. Those houses are right at the top there. What a view to do with um, the great uh, flood disaster so I've got a feeling I've got to go up through there and I have come down that way before on the um, Two Moors Way or it was the um, Macmillan Way um, so I know it's quite a steep walk it goes along the river just crossing the uh, river here I've got some pictures of it in a bit. so that's going back up the river from where the flood came from and then over there you've got Memorial Hall about the flood, we'll have a look in a second. And then down there it goes straight into the sea. So folks, this is the flood memorial hall. Going there free by the way. So the thing there about it, we're probably not gonna go in there to be honest, it's, it's quite busy. Some information here if you want to freeze it. Okay, so looks like um, yeah, the entrance to the train that goes up the cliff is along here, and also the uh, coast path goes up here to uh, Valley of the Rocks. I don't think I'm going up there today. I'm not sure. Some old kilns there with shelters and. Here is the entrance to the cliff top for our way, that's what it's called. It is 390 return for an adult. Weekly tickets, 20 pounds for adult. Well, this this uh, monument is for the Tarka Trail, Southwest Coast Path, Two Moors Way, um, and Coleridge Way. We'll come past here. 
I think I've got to head out on the um, two moors way, which is that way. So I guess that's in miles, not kilometres, because it says 609. So that'll be in miles to forward. Antarctica Trail to Barnstable, 47. Minehead's only 21, yeah, that'd be miles, 21 miles. Tarka Trail to Barnstable the other way as well, 32 miles. Timor's Way, the Coleridge Way, quite a few trails. Remember folks, um, always please check my uh, video descriptions for more information on the video you are watching. Thanks. Doggy ice cream. Right folks, I'm going to get stuck into my uh, fish and chips. Um, the chips were fairly cheap, 6 95 but I ended up paying £1.50 for a can of soft drink. What a rip off. So if you do go, it's the Glenland Gorge, lovely woodland walks by the waterfall leading to an impressive ravine and the 1952 flood level signs. See how some of the water is now harnessed. The train going fast. If you need to charge your batteries, remember to leave a, don a good donation for them. Um, there's a path going up there. I don't think that's the path, the official path. I don't know. A very kind lady, just as I was leaving this town, the, the last at the car park, there's a little sort of tea shop. And the kind lady was running it there. I don't know if it's hers or she just works there. She. Um, Told me the cans are a quid each, which is actually a really good price for here. Um, and it actually said in the window £1.60 for the cans, but she sold them for £1. So I don't know whether that's because I'm carrying this big bag and she, she felt sorry for me or something. Thinking I'm on a long hike and she sold me in for a quid, even though it says £1.60 in the window. So that was really nice of her. I'm sure she gave me a discount, which is what she must have done. We've got the Coleridge Trail, I think on that side of the valley. Possibly that side of the valley. On the other side of the valley, we got the Two Moors Ways Trail. Why go in the roadway? <laughs> 